So if you're thinking about becoming a building inspector or any type of inspector for that matter, and you're curious what type of skills or education you need, I'm here to tell you it's probably not what you think. You know, you might think, well, I, I have to I have to be a framer for 20 years or I have to you know, build houses for 40 years before I can become an inspector or, uh, you know, I have to have some big degree to become an inspector. I'm here to tell you that that is not the truth anymore. I am, uh, let's see, I, I, I've been an inspector for almost 10 years and I got into it, I think when I was like 31 or 32 and I was probably at least 15 years younger than everybody else, all the rest of my peers that were in the room with me as far as inspectors in my area, you know, and, and when I got into it, I always thought that was the typical demographic, right? It was a, somebody who's been in the field for 30 or 40 years. They retired out of that. They hurt their hip or their back. And they're like, well, I'll become an inspector. That's kind of what I thought, but it's changed. Things are changing and we're seeing lots of younger people that are diving into this as a career. So I would tell you right now, if you're younger and you're interested in a career as a building inspector, don't be afraid to dive into it and see what's required in wherever you live, you know, and, and call down and ask your building department what you would need to, to, to qualify. But when I got started, I didn't need any of that stuff. Now, granted, I do have a background in, in the world of construction and I do have some education, but the, the job description did not require that. It did not require you to have all that background necessarily to get hired. Now, does it help you? Yeah. So if you're just starting out, does it, does it hurt you to go do some framing or, or kind of just build some knowledge in the world of construction? No, not at all. But, uh, you know, some of my peers now, I have, we have a an old cabinet installer, a tin bender, pipe fitter. We had a guy that was a superintendent. We had a guy that spilt some, spent some time as a, do an HVAC install or a plumber, um, all those different realms of, of work, and they found their way into being an inspector. Whether or not that's uh, a building inspector or a plumbing inspector or whatever trade that um, you know that they were working in, um, or now that they are now inspecting. So don't be held back by that. So that is that's kind of the big thing to think about is you don't have to have education. It doesn't have to be like this school college education. You don't have to have been in the trades for years and years and years. What you do need is certifications. You need to get certified. Now, I don't know where they're at out there, but I've heard through the grapevine that there are actually like little academies out there that you can go and, and do some, some education on the code book and then take your exams to get certified. I do know that, um, you know, ICC, International Code Council, is, is kind of the governing code body through the whole United States, right? They're like the main uh, code book that you work off of, and then each state and city will break it down from there. So if you go to iccsafe.org, you can go through their entire exam catalog. I think there's like 130 exams in there that you, different things you can get certified in, whether or not it's like special inspection, or just your basic commercial building inspector or plans examiner, a fire inspector, all those different things that are in there. And they'll tell you exactly what you need to do to pass the exam. And then boom, you're certified. Uh, I know when I got started, they gave us a year to get certified for whatever it is that we were inspecting off of. So I have, I'm a building and plumbing inspector. So I was certified for plumbing and certified for building before the end of the year. And I was good to go. So uh, just think about how do I get certified? What kind of process do you need to go through? What type of studying do you need to go through to get certified? You know, if you're really into it, that's where I would start. And while you're studying, go get a job in the world of construction and just kind of get your head into it. Learn how to read plans and uh, and you'll be good to go. So anyways, that's kind of the basics on what's required to become a building inspector. Now, granted, it is different all over the United States, um, but for all of my area, and I've kind of spent a little bit of time on ICC.org looking at some of the job descriptions that are on there, and they all seem to basically be the same. You know, they're looking for somebody. Um, they prefer to have some construction experience, but 
they just need you to get certified. So don't be bashful on it. Don't be afraid about it. If you're interested in it, dive into the career. I like it and I, I don't have a whole lot of negativity to throw towards the job. It's been mostly positive for me over these 10 years. And, uh, and so I hope this helps you out. My name's Ben with Building Code Tips. Um, you can dive over to buildingcodetips.com. I have some blog information in there. I got some videos here on YouTube uh, that you could su subscribe to. But I also on my website have some guides. They're mostly for homeowners and do-it-yourselfers, but I really break down all kind of the code type stuff out of the International Code Council, out of the IRC, the International Residential Code, and some of the stuff that we call and so if you're interested in like, well, what do you even call? Like what type of inspections? What are the things you would look at? I kind of dive into that mostly for a homeowner or DIYer, but it might help you out as well. So um, I appreciate it. And, uh, you know, hit the like button. I appreciate everyone's support. And um, I hope this helps you out.